Hi, welcome to my kitchen. It has been cold here, so I have decided I want some soup. And I am making a taco soup, but I'm making it my own. The recipe I have changed tremendously um, because, well, we like onion, and the recipe didn't call for onion, and the recipe didn't call for um, garlic didn't call for um, pepper so I'm putting that in so it's you know you know me I always say make it your own so that's what I'm doing I'm making it my own but it's a delicious soup I'm telling you if you don't put those things in it that's okay because it's delicious without them so we're going to make it my way and you can make it your way. So here we go. Now I am frying a pound of ground beef. Um, and I'm going to watch myself with this onion. Because I don't want to cut my finger off. The other day I was, wasn't paying any attention. I cut my fingernail. But that's okay. But that's okay. It wasn't my finger. So... I'm putting a pound of ground beef in, and I'm doing one small onion, I think, as far as I know right now, it's going to be a whole small onion, and um, then I'm going to do a, mm, uh, probably about a half a pepper, I think, I'm not quite sure yet. Depends on what it looks like when I get there. You know how that goes. But it has been so cold. And this morning we didn't have any snow. But boy did we have ice. I'm telling you. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready to plant my garden. That's just what I'm ready to do. And I want to get started on it. So... But I guess we've got to go through all the steps to get there. Okay. I may not use all this onion. But anyway, I hope you all have had a good winter so far. Greg's had a hectic winter, I think. This is his first winter winter with... There went another fingernail, and I was looking that time. I'm not going to use all this onion. I'm going to put that over there and use it for something else. I'm going to stir my hamburger. I'll get that fried up. But I guess Grace had quite a winter. But this is his first at the... In Tennessee with all the stuff he's been going through he's done pretty good I said well wait till you get your camper built then you'll know what to do I said now you know what to do because you went through all of it and you know the things to do and not to do so we'll see what changes he makes Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my, and I know that a lot of you know that any kind of soup or anything like that I make, I put, or any kind of food at all I make, except my desserts, <laughs> I don't do it with my desserts, I put garlic in it, we love garlic, and garlic's good for you, so trust me, I'm going to put garlic in anything, so... Here goes my garlic. And then my pepper. This is a pretty big one. I'm only going to use about half of it. I need half of one for another 
dish I'm going to be making this week, so it's not going to go to waste, which it wouldn't go to waste anyway, because I just like to dip it in ranch dressing and eat it. So I would do that before I let it go to waste. But trust me, they don't go to waste around here. So, but I'm going to cut this up and put it in it. And this is something it doesn't call for. But I'm doing it anyway. I'll turn my burner down just a little bit. Stir it up a little bit. Get that onion down in there. So... This is, is a soup that I think about everybody in the family loves. But most of them make it their own and they don't put the onion and the pepper in it or the garlic. But I do. I'm ready to plant some peppers. I'm tired of paying the big prices for them. Man, that's ridiculous. It's only going to get worse until we get our gardens out. Then they'll put the price down in order to compete with people. I know friends of mine planted so many last year, they were giving them away. So... We're going to let that cook a little bit. Mm, that smells so yummy. Ooh, and that garlic and onions. Oh my goodness. Mm, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. See if I can get rid of my mess and wash my hands, okay? And I'll be right back. Boy, that smells good. That smells so good. Now, I'm going to take my pan, and I'm going to put, it calls for two cans, so I'm using a big can of Rotel chopped up tomatoes. It has, matter of fact, it does have peppers in it already. And then I'm using a can of chili beans. Guess I'll get something to get that out with. And I don't drain anything. We want all that good juice and broth and everything in there. Mm. So, put that away. And we want the black beans. And we want a can of chili sauce. Mm, that smells good, too. This is going to be yummy. Yep, yummy, yummy, yummy. Then I'm going to stop for just a minute and go over here and put my taco seasoning in this. That's going to make it all smell better. It's going to really smell good. I could just take a taco and put this right on it. I guess I better not, though. But I could. Just a little. That'll be good. Okay. Then I'm going to put, it says a can of whole corn. Well, I'm going to put my frozen whole corn in it. How about that? And then I'm going to put a can of cream style corn in it. Them cowboys knew how to cook. Okay. Mm, yum, yum. And then I'm going to put a can of... Mess my can up. So I'm going to put a can of... Um, 
tomato sauce in it. Mix that all together. It's so easy to make. I don't know why I don't make it more often. Um, I just don't, but I should because it's so easy to make. Mmm. Oh, this smells so yummy. And I didn't brown. I didn't drain my ground beef because there's no. Nothing in it to drain. So, I'm going to put it now in my soup mixture that I've already got mixed up over here. Now I'm going to tell on myself, I used to have pictures on this side of my refrigerator. Oh my goodness, don't ever do that when your refrigerator's sitting right against your stove. Well, my grandchildren, my grandson was here, and he was picking up his kids. I'd had his children all afternoon, and uh, they were going home. So anyway, he uh, stayed a little bit, and they were here for a little while. So I... Uh, he started home, and his little, this was last summer, so he had been about nine. His little nine-year-old boy says, whispered to his daddy. He didn't want to say it out loud. And I told him, I said, oh, you should always say it out loud if you think it. And he says, I think I smell something burning at Mamaw's house. And so Josh said, yeah, I do too. So he's... He says, Grandma, I, th I smell something burning. So he's running all through the house. He ran upstairs and he opened the door going down in the basement. We don't have a basement. We just have an old dirt cellar. But he opened the hatch thing going down in there. And uh, he says, I smell it stronger here in the kitchen. And they kept looking and kept looking. And had picture frames on the pictures and one of the plastic picture frames had slid down and was down close enough to my stove that it was starting to melt and it, the plastic on it was what he smelt. So don't ever do what I did. Uh, he yanked all those pictures off my refrigerator and he says, don't you ever do that again. I said, okay, you don't yell at me. He said, Grandma, if you hadn't have been home, your house could have burnt down. I said, if I hadn't have been home, my stove wouldn't have been on. But um, I could have been outside and had soup cooking or something like that, and something could have happened. But his little boy he was so cute. He says, I think I smell something burning at Mamaw's. So he did. He smelled something burning at Mamaw's. But my picture frame was melting because I buy those plastic ones that have um, magnets on the back of them. I buy those at Walmart, and um, it was it was melted. So just one of my dumb mistakes that I don't want you all to ever make. So now this has to cook for a little while, but it sure does look good. How about that? Don't that look yummy? It really does, and it smells so good. And you could use that for a dip if you made it a little bit thicker. But we're going to let that cook for a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll be back with you, and we'll taste it. So we'll be right back. Welcome back. Oh, my goodness, does it smell good? Isn't that Beautiful. On a good cold evening. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Oh, that is so wonderful. Now, you can serve this with nacho chips, 
You can serve it with uh, Doritos. I know my cousin serves it with Doritos. They love it that way. Um, my husband's going to eat it with, Dori with nacho chips. And I'm going to taste it. If I can, it's awful hot. Mmm. I don't know how to do this. Mmm. 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 That is so good. Mm. I'm going over to my great granddaughter's. No, I'm going over to my granddaughter's, who is going to be having my great granddaughter in another mm, about three or four days. I'm going to take them some of that. Oh my goodness, is that good? And it didn't take no time to make it. I'm telling you, that is so wonderful. Y'all are going to have to try that. And you know what? You could probably, I'm sure you could use that just as a, a taco dip. Yeah. Mm hmm Try this soup sometime. I know you're going to love it and share it. And uh, let me know how you like it. You may have already tried it. You may have already added all that stuff to it that I put in it. And if you have tried it, let us know. So um, let, us, let, let me know how you're faring this winter. Uh, I haven't been on much lately. Um, Greg's been really busy. He's been trying to shovel that lane out. I told him he needs to get him a blade on the front, end, front of that um, big red. He said, Mom, I've already shoveled out, so, but he don't know how many more he's going to have to shovel out, and even one time, it's worth it, so uh, I hope he does, and uh, we'll be praying he gets that cabin built real soon. He's, he's done real well, but um, he needs that indoor plumbing, <laughs> and he needs that indoor heat, but he's, um, he's done real well. I'm proud of him. And he's happy, and that's all that matters. you got to be happy. And they're very happy up there, happier than they've been anywhere else. So just pray for them. And I'm sending all my love and prayers to all of you out there because we love you, and we hope you're having a good winter and everybody's staying warm. So we love you bunches, and thank you, and we'll be giving you some more recipes real soon. It's been hard to get them edited right now I know so anyway love you bunches and we'll see you real soon thank you thank you bunches